Hey, what's up everyone? I'm Chris Brainerd, APE Strength in, in the DFW area. I wanna walk you guys through uh, one of our favorite mobility series that we use uh, with a lot of the athletes that come in our gym. The warm-up's often an overlooked aspect of the, of the performance process um, and making sure that we have proper mobility at the hips, upper back, and certain muscles are activated are gonna be crucial for the athlete's performance. So the first one that we're gonna go through is the split stance adductor. So here we're just working on uh, hip mobility of the growing. Um, so the athlete is going to start in a four point stance and then extend one leg out to the side. And then all we're doing while keeping the spine straight, just rocking the butt back to the heel and they should feel a big growing stretch on the inside of the, on the inside of their leg. The next one we're going to move into is called the 90, 90. Um, so here we're just going to set up 90 degrees at the front shin and then 90 degrees at the back shin. Uh, here we're just asking the athlete to get tall. And then they're going to think like they're reaching their hips back as they're hovering their, their chest over their shin. And this is going to really get a deep stretch in the hip capsule. Um, so if, if you guys feel it, uh, that, that probably means that it's, uh, it's hitting the right areas. So the next one we're going to move into is a Spider-Man with the reach. So I'm going to have the athlete assume a push-up position. And then they're, they're going to bring one foot right outside the hand, take that elbow down to the heel and then they're gonna wave up to the ceiling. So here we're working on hip mobility as well as upper back mobility. Both are crucial, um, and whether you're you know, in the weight room or on the playing field. The next one we're gonna move into is a thread the needle with the wave. Uh, so we'll, the athlete will assume a four point stance. Uh, they're gonna really reach through underneath their lead arm, and then they're gonna wave up to the ceiling. So right here, this is just an upper back mobility uh, a lot of times with throwing athletes, they might have uh, one side that has a little more mobility than the other. Um, and here we're just kind of creating some balance um, within the body. So lastly, we're gonna move into a single leg glute bridge. So we'll have the athlete start laying on their back, one knee bent, and then one leg straight up. From here, all they're gonna do is drive their, their front foot through the ground to bridge their hips up and then squeeze their glutes at the top. So the glutes are often overlooked aspect uh, from the athlete's performance. So they're critical in hip extension um, and critical players whenever they're running and jumping. So the mobility series is great after, uh, after we use the foam roller. So the foam roller is really gonna prepare the tissue to be stretched. And then we wanna then move them into dynamic ranges of motion. So uh, give, that, give that warm up series a try. Um, if you guys have any questions, uh, let us know. But other than that, thanks so much for watching. Thank you.